What's up everybody, Coach Matt coming at you with another video wearing the Rockies hat. I threw a lot of shade at the Colorado Rockies yesterday for just making bad moves. I really enjoy going to Coors Field. It's one of my favorite stadiums and I don't hate them. I just, I know I throw a lot of shade. So I'm repping the Colorado Rockies today uh, and the Phantom LA 2020 All-Star Game that didn't happen. So uh, I got the shirt before the season started, didn't happen. Maybe that was a bad omen. Anyways, we're coming out. We're coming up with another video here. We're trying to get to 1K before opening day. So subscribe, like, comment on the video. I got a lot of things to talk about in today's video. Uh, without further ado, let's first start with Bryce Harper. Have you guys had a chance to see his bat? I'll insert an image here. I personally think that having this in baseball would be huge. Uh, what we see in the NFL and the NBA today is those organizations allow their players to brand them the each each player can brand themselves they have shoe deals they have all these endorsement deals that they can do where they could build their own brand as as an individual in baseball there's virtually zero individualization like you get put on the cover of MLB the show like and that's about it so i personally think like having something like your own tricked out bat or your tricked out cleats would be huge i think it would be a lot of fun it's not going to look like European hockey where the entire jersey is just logoed up with sponsors. It's not going to be like that. I think it would be a really good thing for baseball. I, I don't remember who the P Cubs player was who had the PF Flyers uh, cleats and he got fined for it. I know Trevor Bauer has been fined for his, his cleat usage or attempts to use those cleats. I think that these players should be able to build their brand, do what they want to do, express themselves in that way. They're not altering the, the uniform. They still keep the integrity of the game. I think this is an awesome thing to do. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you think. The big news of today is the minor league players for the Seattle Mariners. Kevin Mather, the ex-GM for the Seattle Mariners, uh, threw some uh, interesting comments out. He said, and I quote, that you would see me and my fat butt out on the field before you see our prospects out there to start their service time. The, ML, the MILB players for the Seattle Mariners are going crazy. They're saying that they know that they were one game away from making the playoffs last year, and they sat watching the team not have a chance. I'm sorry. For baseball, for the integrity of the game of baseball, and to make baseball just more competitive for those bottom dweller teams, I'm not saying that the Mariners are always a bottom dweller. They haven't made the playoffs in 20 years. It's kind of sad to see, uh, but it would be really great if those teams would just suck it up, put the players in the best team available, put the best team available out there. I mean, yes, I know some people, you know, might have to say like winning isn't everything and, you know, but look, this is pro baseball. Like you play the game to win the world series. Like, and if you get into the dance, you can get into the playoffs, anything can happen. How many times have you seen the, the wildcard team go on and win the world series? Like it happens three or four times a decade. So why not shoot, shoot your shot? So they want to save money by having control over the player a couple of years longer by delaying their ability to start in the major leagues. I think that's bad. Get the players up if they're ready to play. Look at Juan Soto. The guy was 19 years old and just crushing belt balls in his like his, his first year in baseball. The, what, at 20 years old, the guy won the World Series. Like The guy's an incredible hitter. So I say let your players play. Just worry about the money later when they make when they go up there they make the main, main, major league minimum which is what like 1.5 mil or 500 grand or so, somewhere in there whatever it is i think that uh the cba and mlb are not going to be on good terms uh next year is going to be a very interesting year because the current cba ends at the end of the season uh we, we will see what what uh what goes on what do you think about the injury to Royce Lewis, number one overall prospect. Uh, I think they're their first overall draft pick too uh, in one of the drafts uh, not long ago. Uh, their shortstop uh, was uh, in the pipeline to get uh, potential major league time and has torn his ACL and he's out for the year. What do you guys think of that? I think that's big news because uh, the Twins are uh, a competitive team and losing a, uh, a, a big prospect like that, it's a, I think it's a pretty big blow. Uh, Next thing, Mike Trout says he wants to be better. I mean, that's like saying you're going to go from beast mode to God mode. Like, seeing Mike Trout be better than 
he already is, is legitimately God mode. The guy's been the best player in baseball, like hands down, for the last better part of like seven years. Like the guy is insane. Uh, uh, th th there actually was an in interesting graphic that I saw. I'm gonna see if I can find it, uh, where they have the stats of Albert Pujols in his prime and Mike Trout. And Albert Pujols is better, which is kind of crazy to say that Albert Pujols was better than Mike Trout during his prime. Um, if I can find that graphic, I'll put it up. Um, and the last thing to talk about for today is Aaron Judge. Here's his before, and here is his after. Do you see a difference? I think it's awesome. I know that uh, some people out there in New York uh, on the Twitterverse are saying that he's not going to be as good because he's not going to be hitting the balls into the gap, like referencing his gap teeth. So I don't know how I feel about that. What do you guys think about that? Um, I personally think it's an awesome. The guy is taking his uh, personal appearance uh, into account. I think that's great. Um, well, so that is it for today. Quick recap, not a lot happened. Uh, I know there's, uh, there's gonna be some fun things up in the pipeline, but the goal is 1K by opening day. Let's try and get 1,000 subscribers by opening day. Um, and uh, without further ado, we'll chat with you tomorrow.